Welcome back guys to Force Hobbies. What do we got over here? It's a mysterious can that appeared in my car. It is a bottle of CRC GDI intake valve and turbo cleaner. This is the Force's car. Another car from the Force. Here we go here. This is a 2013 Hyundai Sonata GDI turbo. Let's get this motor right here. This is one of the best engines ever made by Hyundai. That statement could be incorrect. But with using this stuff here, it could help prolong the life of your motor. These GDI engines here are, are known having some valve problems here because all the gunk and shit stays on your valves. The gasoline does not travel through the valves to clean the valves. So the owner, if you are owner of a Hyundai Sonata, which you might be, you should watch this video. This is how to maintain your cars for the longevity. You can have this car for hundreds of thousands of miles if you maintain the you can keep doing this or you can get the gdi service at a hyundai dealership now um most cars are direct fuel injection which you don't need this to do this stuff here you won't have any gunk and cake on your valves from this video here because the uh, gdi if you guys know this already i'm not sure if you know but uh you know the um Gasoline direct injection does not clean the valves. It bypasses them. So this car is directly gas direct injection right into the combustion chamber of the pistons. So it bypasses the valves. Go to my cars, other cars, my Honda there. This is my Honda bad boy right there. My other Mitsubishi. They have multi fuel injection, which in my opinion is a hell of a lot better. Hell of a lot better for longevity of the engine. Cleans your valves. You won't have no gunk filled up in the valves. Alright guys, we need the directions here to you guys here. The engine's already warmed up. I've been driving the car all morning. And uh, pretty much I'm just gonna... My wife is gonna put the RPMs up. Not exceeding 3500 RPMs. And I'm gonna spray the this cleaner. I opened up my intake hose here because... I don't have... The other ones I can't get out. I can't get those hoses out. So I'm gonna spray this directly into the intake. This feeds right into the turbocharger. So, there you go. So I'm just gonna spray this shit right in there. And uh... You can let the car warm down for an hour, so we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna post my GoPro. This is gonna be new for the channel here. I'm gonna put the GoPro right over here on my windshield here and show you guys what shit comes out of this exhaust when I'm done with it. All the crap from the valves. This is gonna be pretty cool. Anything I can think of my YouTube channel that I can, uh, you know, drive people's attention to it and help them maintain their vehicles. Hey, I'm gonna do it. Because I think it's necessary. See if you got some money. This cleaner here is just as good as getting your car made inside the Honda dealership for $250. This is just as good. If you just do it, follow the instructions on the bottle here. And it's very simple, guys. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, let me know when you're ready.
Okay, now I'm in the garage now. I'm trying to clean all this debris here up. I have a lot of um, CRC one over here. So there you have it. I'm gonna wait one hour now from time now. We got here at th approximately three o'clock. So I'll wait till, uh, yeah, four, about four o'clock. I'll take her out. You see the directions here in the bottle here. It's very clear here. That's, you know, you wait about an hour. Once can is empty, accelerate engine to two, three times without exceeding 3,500 RPMs. I think I did that a little bit. Run on idle for one minute, did that, turn engine off. So the car was running on idle for maybe two or three minutes. So a little bit longer because I had to pull the car in the garage. But um, as long as you follow the instructions on the can, guys, it's super easy to do this. And you're gonna see the, the results when I'm driving. You're gonna see me blow all the white smoke out my rear end. I will have my GoPro mounted right on my back windshield here, right over here. And you'll see the, um, yeah, you'll see the, uh, all the um, valve intake exhaust, as you would say, or whatever you want to call it, all the gunk and soot on the valves. We'll go ahead and blow it out the uh, exhaust system. Now this won't affect the catalytic converter. It is catalytic uh, converter safe. It's not gonna affect anything in the car, as long as you do it properly. You're not gonna have any bog or anything in the car. I recommend oil change. This car is due for oil change about 500 miles. I'm gonna do it about 200 miles. All this all this stuff's gonna make your engine a little bit dirtier from all that spray in the intake there. I'm sure it's gonna get to the oil. So I recommend you oil change about a week after you do this procedure. Nice, clean, fresh oil on her. And your valve should be cleaner than before. Not crystal clean like a multi-port fuel injector car, but it'll be cleaner and it'll run a little bit smoother. This should be done every 10,000 to 15,000 miles, guys, depending on how hard you drive. And um, I had to mine at 10,000 miles. Every 10,000 I do mine because I want this car to last a very long time. So there you have it. It's time for the force to take my Honda out for a little drive since it's running. She's running, she's asking it to be driven. You know, when something asks for it to be driven, I'm just gonna drive it, you know? She's begging to me to drive it. I'm gonna drive her, warm this puppy up. I haven't driven this car for for about two weeks now. Let's get her here. Let's get her this thing now. Ugh. You never see a gauge like this, guys, ever again from Honda. Yep, never gonna see kind of Formula One racing inspired uh, cluster like this ever. So, since while we're waiting, the Porsche is going to go for a nice drive. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that one.
year. Uh, yeah, so it, it did blow out a little bit of smoke in the back, uh, a little bit of black smoke, not as much as I expected. Last time it was a bunch of big white cloud. I'm not sure if that was worse or better than this one, but this one here, at least you, you got some of the uh, debris came out of the exhaust system. So this stuff does work very well. Maybe last time I had more debris in there, just mixed up with who knows, antifreeze, oil mixture, who the hell knows what happened. Anyway, though, the car runs great. As you see before, I hit 80 miles an hour with no, uh, in no time with this motor here. This is the 2.0 turbo, uh, 274 horsepower. Lots of power, and as you see here, the acceleration of this car is super smooth at 135,000 miles. All right, guys, hope this video helps you guys out. Use that CRC. The couple of brands that make it, you know, I mean, I'm not sponsored by them or make any money of them, obviously, you guys know that already. Seafoam or CRC are the two main ones for the GDI uh, cleaner. So uh, those, those are the two main ones. You can get whatever you guys want. Prefer I prefer the CRC. There's, they have a YouTube channel too. You can check them out too about the chemicals they use and everything, how it's safe for your, your car, your catalytic converter and all that stuff. And uh, again, if any GDI car you have, which is a Volkswagen, you know, BMW, Mercedes, whatever GDI car you have, this can works for all that stuff, not just for Hyundai. Hyundai has a GDI engine, so you got to maintain it properly. This is the thing you can do, preventive maintenance, to allow your car to run smoother. And just this thing runs like a clock, man. So just uh, it's all about that maintenance with the GDI. A little bit more love and care. A little more, yeah, a little bit more, you know, TLC. These cars require a little bit more tender love and care because the GDI is. So you just gotta keep keep up with them, and they should last you a very long time. Super easy stuff to do, guys. 15, 16 bucks for a bottle of the CRC. Seafoam is the same price. And just read the directions, and that's it. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Force Hobbies, signing out.